Rosabel's sister. The journey back to Rosabel's house took the trio down the side of a mountain. Let's storm this lair. It's kind of sad. They look so happy together. Wait, there's something behind this picture. Look here. Princess Isabel. Your saviors are here. Your Majesty, wake up. Can you hear us? Are you hurt, Princess? We'll free you in a moment. The heroes yelled and called for the Princess, but she did not stir from her death-like slumber. She can't hear us. She seems unconscious. Of course, the enchanted sleep spell. It's almost irreversible. You shouldn't be here. So, the artifact of souls is bound to you three. I wonder what happens to it when you all die. The artifact will never help you. You'll never get away with this, whatever your crooked plan is. Silence, you rabble! I didn't intend for the forest to steal Isabel's powers. But with your artifact, I can bring order back to this land. First, I need to get rid of you three. Let me introduce you to my little pet. Oh no! Not the dragon! hadn't stolen her powers. Tremble in fear! Creatures of the night, heed my call! Deal with this rabble! These peasants' death is long overdue.
vines holding the sleeping princess began to untangle and withdraw. What, what is happening? Am I alive? Rosie! The amazed heroes saw Rosabel fall down into the underground lake. Isabel dived after the sinking shadow of Rosabel. After a moment, Isabel returned carrying her sister. Thank you for freeing me, heroes. Pleased to meet you, Lady Princess. If only the circumstances could be more cheerful. Rosie, she was always very stubborn. Can we get you anything? A towel? I, I just want to go home. I'm afraid your castle lies in ruins. Not to mention you've some grave issues with your plumbing. How are we going to get out of here? The portals are all gone now. Just then, the trine appeared and shed its golden light around the cavern. The light grew warmer and brighter, wrapping everyone with an invisible blanket of comfort and safety. The cavernous tunnel vanished from their sight. The trine brought our heroes back to the very forest where the wizard and the knight had met at the beginning of the journey. We did what we set out to do. Our kingdom is safe, and the forest has turned back to normal. How did we do that? It was Isabel's magic that affected the forest. Now that she's free, the balance has been restored. No! I forgot to bring that magic water with me for the potatoes. Here, I have a whole skin full of magic water. Zoya! You're a decent sort after all. It'll cost you five gold. What? You already got a crown today. <laughs> the three heroes spent the night talking of the great adventure before they headed back home. So the princess and the pumpkins had been rescued, and the great adventure drew to a close. In the end, you wish we've got a surprise. Uh ho, uh ho, goblins are afoot. On a dark and fateful night, sinister figures stirred in the woods surrounding Amadeus's cottage. No sign of that thrice darned husband anywhere. Good heroes won't mess up our plans this time. Let me tell you a little story that reveals more about the goblin.